Hey guys, and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why it may not be the best idea to be using an IDE. That being said, IDEs are a great tool, but if you're a beginner, and especially a student, and you're using an IDE, you may be hindering your programming ability, and maybe even your ability to get a job. So make sure you listen to why you might not want to be using it. So if you guys are interested in possibly winning one Bitcoin by creating your own game written in Python, Pygame, or some other language, I encourage you to check out the link in the description and have a look at this website that's running a contest called Game Jam. Game Jam. So this contest runs until April 18th, so you've got about a month left to enter, and the best game is going to win one Bitcoin. All the details about the game, how you enter, how you're judged are on the website, but I figured I'd shout out to you guys because I know a lot of you are interested in Python and Pygame, and this could look great on a resume to say you've entered in a contest like this and you submitted a game. Okay, so before I get too far into this content, let me just quickly say that I have nothing against IDEs. I love IDEs, and personally I use one almost every day. Now, the reason that I'm recommending, recommending you don't use one is if you're not an experienced programmer or you're just learning a language. These are the reasons, th this is when you wouldn't want to be using an IDE. If you're experienced, you're a developer, you've been programming for many years, IDEs are amazing and you're probably like, why in the world wouldn't I use one? And you're absolutely correct. But if you're a beginner, using an IDE can really affect you and really hurt you. And that's what I'm going to be really mentioning in this video. Now, the first reason I would say not to use an IDE is if you're an absolute beginner and you're trying to learn programming. Using an IDE is going to affect you in two ways. First of all, it's going to be difficult to use. IDEs are typically not easy and you have to actually learn them. So learning not only how to program, but now how to use your IDE are just two things you don't need on your plate at the same time. The second reason, and I would say this is a lot more powerful than having to learn the IDE, is the fact that it's going to help you in so many different ways that's not good for you. For example, if you run into some errors, rather than testing your programming, seeing the crash output, it's going to tell you exactly what the error is. It's going to say this won't work, and it's also going to autocorrect lines. So what that means is you're not really going to be learning exactly what you're doing wrong. And I had this issue when I started programming in Java, I started using Eclipse, and I would never have failed outputs um, when I ran them because it would constantly be telling me, no, you can't run this, you have to fix this, and it would auto-correct my lines. So I realized I was forgetting a lot of syntax. And if I had to use, if I didn't have that IDE available and I had to write in like Notepad++ or even by hand, I couldn't remember a lot of the reasons why things were crash or just the syntax in general. And that's one of the reasons you might not want to use one because if you're just learning, it's going to help you almost too much. You want to run into those mistakes and you want to learn the syntax by yourself. You don't want to constantly have that aid of the IDE helping you through the way. And this is what a lot of professors and teachers say as well. Using IDEs as a beginner is just not the best way to learn. Once you get more advanced, that's fine. But if you're just trying to learn the language, an IDE is really going to do more harm than it is good. Now, the second reason I would say not to use an IDE is similar to this, and it's if you're a student. Now, you're going to be like, well, it can help my efficiency. Um, I like IDEs. I can code faster with them. That's fine. That's a valid reason to use one. But if you're going to have to be writing code by hand, you better make sure that you know the language you're writing in. And this is an issue that I see a lot of my classmates having. They code with IDEs because it's way easier. But then when they get to a handwritten test, and yes, we have to handwrite code in university. I know it's not 1990. Um, they have a lot of issues and that's because they can't remember the exact syntax or their IDE would automatically finish a line or it would add a semicolon or it would fix the brackets for them. But they don't have that luxury when they're writing by hand. Right. So that's one of the reasons you may not want to use one as well is if you're a student and you really need to know that language down because you can't look it up on a test and you're going to have to hand write. I'd recommend at least before the test, you're either practicing by hand or you're just using a simple text editor. Third reason you might not want to use an IDE. Your computer simply can't handle it. Now, I know most IDEs and computers in today's age run fine and aren't going to be laggy, but if you're using a very uh, memory heavy and system heavy IDE, you might not have the luxury of being able to use that on every machine. And going from using an IDE to not using an IDE on a different machine can be a lot more difficult than it looks. This is personally why whenever I write Java code, I write it in subline text. I don't use an IDE because I never know when I'm going to want to write Java code or if I'm going to have to do it. If I want to load up, for example, on my laptop, um, Eclipse and all this stuff, I'd rather just quickly write it in a text editor. And that's just personally my opinion. Reason four why you may not want to use an IDE. 
Now, I kind of mentioned this at the beginning of the video and I said it might affect you getting a job. Now, this kind of wraps up all of the three reasons before. In a job interview, typically for coding, they're very tough and they actually ask you to write code or to explain code in the interview. Now, if you need to write code in the interview, typically they're leaning on syntax, but you don't want to be in the position where you can't remember certain syntax or certain errors are automatically fixed for you because you've been using an IDE and you don't remember them in the interview. Now, I know this is kind of a, a weird thing and a lot of people are probably going to say, oh no, like I'd be fine, but actually try writing your code in a text editor, like subline text or notepad plus plus, or even just notepad and tab yourself and see how well you do. See if you can remember all the lines, see if you know the syntax, because that's something important. And once you get that down, it's fine to use an IDE because you already know the stuff, it's just aiding you with it. But if you don't know it and you're using the IDE, then you're kind of just hindering yourself. So make sure that you guys know the language and you know what you're doing before you possibly go to a job interview or go write a test uh, and all you've been using is an IDE. So I'm going to wrap up the video now. I know a lot of you probably have mixed opinions on this and that you'd rather use an IDE and that's what you've been using. But seriously, please consider actually writing your code in a text editor and then using an IDE. If you guys are advanced, ignore everything I've said. But if you're a beginner and you're just learning or maybe even an intermediate, consider writing your code in just a standard text editor. See how you do with that. And if you're fine, then you can move up to an IDE. That's been it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you again in another video.